So, uh, fairly disappointing profit growth, but uh, as Devin Choksi was just pointing out to us, it could have been a factor of just how much we were expecting from Infosys and not necessarily a factor of how they did. So, we might have expected too much from that company. They have held on to their margins very steadfastly through the quarter and they've also raised guidance for FY11. But once again, the guidance increase has not been by quite as much as the likes of Deutsche Bank, UBS, CLSA or Relegate were hoping for. We'll talk a bit more about those brokerages uh, a bit later on. But this is the broader picture on the Infosys results. Let's get a more detailed breakdown with Ashutosh Bharadwaj. Ashu. The four reasons that have been uh, the four reason that have been led to the stock uh, down. One is if you look at why the uh, the volume was uh, volume growth was not really the at par with the endless were estimating. Endless were estimating almost seven to eight percent of the volume growth. But the company has posted a volume growth of almost like three point one percent. That is one of the reason that that uh, revenue growth have been lower what the street was estimating. Another reason for the down, uh, decline in profitability was the effective tax rate that has also increased from twenty two point five nine percent to almost twenty six point nine six and utilization level uh, which is a key thing particularly for the margin lever that also dropped from 74 percent to almost like 72 percent and also the revenue from the on-site also declined because uh, on-site revenue are usually higher than the offshore one uh, so these four reasons really, really uh, led to the decline in a profit what the street was estimating but as for, apart from that the guidance factor was also one of the reason that uh, led to some bit of disappointment in the market. If you look at for FY11 revenue growth guidance, they have though upgraded, but what the analysts are saying that is below what the street was estimating. What they have upgraded right now is from 25.7 to almost 26%. The, the company in the last quarter has given a guidance to almost 23.2, uh, 25%. But the increase is there, but a little bit below what the street was estimating, almost like uh, on lower uh, band, they were estimating about 27.5% kind of a uh, YOY increase. In a, in a dollar revenue growth. At the same time, EPS, uh, EPS, uh, EPS growth uh, was, uh, for consensus estimate, was 112, but the company has given an EPS uh, for FI11 in a rupee terms is 118.9 on a higher band. So it's still lower than the street is estimating. Or well, if you look at the Bloomberg uh, uh, consensus estimate is 122. So they still, over the difference between these two are significantly higher. That is the reason we have seen a, a slide in the stock today, almost like five and a half, uh, five percent in the stock, and that was the biggest percentage decline since May 19, 2009. And if you look at almost like 10,000 crores, the MCAP have just eroded in a one day. So this, this is a culmination of two factors. One is the guidance was disappointing, and some of the matrix what the street was estimating was below their expectation. And there will be volatility in the client spending that will impact our growth. Second, currency volatility is a given. Whether you like it or not, all currencies across the globe, not only a rupee dollar, is going to move in a big band. So it could move some 10 to 15 percent each quarter. That volatility we have to manage. That is the biggest concern. Third, the regulatory environment is evolving in all the economies because unemployment rates are very high in all the developed markets. To that extent, they could bring restrictions on visas. They could increase the minimum wages. All that will have some impact on us.